Hi, Gemini. It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I'm here to do your reading for November 4th through 11th. This is for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Keep in mind, this reading might not be for you. This is not a private reading. Okay, it's for somebody, not everybody. Don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't fit, then it's not for you. And don't get upset about it. If it's not yours, it's not yours. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You're going to be tested. You're going to be tested this week. All right. Your strength is going to be tested. Your stability is going to be tested. You may be expecting something to happen. Yeah, you're prepared for something. You're expected. You're expecting something. You're prepared for something, but it may not be what you think it is. This is loss of strength. Remember I said your strength is going to be tested. It's funny because this, it's funny that strength would come out of this card. This is a card of strength. It really is. And it's reversed. Your strength is going to be tested. You may think that you're prepared for something, but you're not really prepared. There's something arriving. There's, a, there's an arrival of something. May, you may, things may seem a little chaotic when it, whatever happens. There's going to bring a little bit of chaos into your life. And you may have to be flexible. Uh-oh. Okay. So, doesn't look good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it looks like there, there could be, there could be a, a split of a partnership, a breakup, or there's arguments in a relationship. Things are definitely unbalanced, right? I mean, look at the, even the cards are unbalanced. You look at how they are sitting on the table. I mean, it's like crooked. Things are unbalanced and uncomfortable. Things, something, look at, look at it. It's like leaning. Something is like ready to, it's a mess. And these are even, things are unbalanced, okay? Something may shake you up a little bit, knock you off your, Equilibrium, your equilibrium may be a little off center. Um, and you're probably going to, I mean, the chariot reverse is a loss of self. Okay? It's like a lack of strength. Uh-oh. Yeah. Come on now. Now, I am strong, Gemini, so I would like this to be as positive as possible, but, you know, I can't, I don't make shit up, so, um, you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, by the looks of things, that is probably blocking your happiness this week, Okay. There could be the end of a contract with this person. Now, this person could be a father, could be a husband, could be an employer, could be a boss, could be a friend, could be anybody. But it's a man. It's a man. Okay, so we have the end of a contract with a man. Here goes my damn phone again. And it looks as though it's not going to make you happy. Whatever is happening, it's going to bring some sort of negativity into your life okay this is this is a you could be receiving a message from somebody that hurts okay it could be something you don't want to hear. Um, and this is a blockage of, and this is a blockage as well. You may want to block these feelings. 
whatever is happening, you may want to block it right out. Or you are blocking it out because these are both blockages. It's like a lack of movement. Things are going to seem like they've been turned upside down. Damn it. It's not like you didn't expect this to happen because I think you've seen this coming. And this week your, te your strength is going to be tested because you're going to receive some message that brings you down. It's going to bring you down. Okay? And you're going to need to find that strength. I mean, this is the King of Wands. He's represented by Aries Leo Sagittarius. He's represented by the Emperor. He's represented by Temperance. And he's represented by, by Leo, the Lion, Strength. So you're going to need to find strength. You're going to need to be patient. You're going to need to heal. You're going to need to keep yourself under control. You're going to have to remain poised. You're going to receive some sort of information from somebody that brings you down and asks you to find your strength to keep it intact, to keep yourself under control, all right? It's a negative message. You're going to receive something that you don't want to hear. I'm sorry, but that's reality. It's not like you weren't expecting this, because you were. Uh-oh. Maybe it's a loss of love. You know, I mean, with the Ace of Cups reversed and the Two of Cups reversed, maybe you come to some sort of conclusion or you receive this message that this is no more. This isn't love. Somebody doesn't want it. Somebody is shutting down emotionally. Somebody has lost that loving feeling, whether it's you or the other person. Or this, whoever you're dealing with, like I said, doesn't have to be a sexual partner, has given up. Somebody has given up the partnership. You know, and this is judgment. This is judgment. This is release. Forgive. It's a card of karma as well. It's a card of truth being revealed. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed that you may want to block out. You might not you might want to block this truth because it hurts your heart. Okay? This is real shit right here. This ain't butterflies and roses. But you can find plenty of readers that will tell you that and none of it will come true because that ain't real. The truth is that you're going to need to find your strength and your willpower and your discipline and your confidence to accept the truth and forgive a situation that has held you back. Something has held you back. And it's out of your control. You can't control it. There's a partnership that is not compatible anymore and it's falling apart. Whether it's with a loved one, anything. Could be a partnership with anybody. But if this is a release. Ties are being severed. And happiness awaits. It's no, somebody is letting go of their ego. They're letting go, period. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, I'm an Aries, Leo. Aries, father, boss, husband. Whatever this is, it's out of your control. There's a loss of control here.
and it's major. Major, major, major. Somebody, you may feel like this is steals all of your energy. You know, you may feel like a complete loss. You may go through a period of repression even because you can't control this situation. Major, 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 major. Some sort, somebody is getting a wake-up call in regards to a partnership that is ending. And it may feel disorderly. It may cause, you may feel like things are chaotic. It may make you angry. It may make you lose your concentration for a period of time. But it's going to lead you down a new path. It's going to open new doors. You have a new door opening. This is what this is. You're at a crossroads. This change has been needed for a while. Somebody's been clinging to control. No shit. Somebody's been trying to control destiny, you know, with their free will. No shit. Seriously. And now there's been some sort of wake-up call that pushes you down a new direction, opens up a new door, shows you the light, illuminates the path. But the fact of the matter is, somebody has been fearful. And staying in a situation that was safe. And now they can't stay there anymore. Because there's some sort of revelation or truth or whatever. Something is happening. <sighs> somebody has been in a situation with another person that... Is closed off emotionally. No shit. This person uses emotional blackmail as a tactic. They don't communicate. They give the silent treatment. They uh, withdraw. They detach. This person just doesn't have good intentions for the relationship. And perhaps that gets realized. The truth comes out. We're dealing with a narcissist here. I hate to say the fucking word. Excuse me. I even swore at that one. But you can't win. You cannot win with this person. And perhaps that's the revelation. The truth gets realized. You know what? I'm not going to prove myself to you anymore with the five of swords reversed. No. Mm -mm. I'll take the high road. Thank you. Yeah, somebody's thinking about taking a new opportunity because this is there's too much emotional loss here. There's too much hurt. They've been bored and discontent and wanting more for quite some time. And it looks like the foundation that was built is about to get shaken up. And I don't need the tower card to see that. There's a new opportunity waiting to be accepted. And you may just accept that new opportunity. Because dealing with this unfulfilling emotional, I'm trying to be nice here, ass isn't fulfilling you, right? You can't win. This person's ego is the size of Mount Rushmore. And it's been blocking you from love. And there's now there's an opportunity for love. And you've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about true love and what love is and all that. And I think that you've stayed trying, stayed in this controlling situation for long enough. And 
you've gotten to a point or somebody there's some sort of truth or, or secret or revelation or wake up call or something that comes out that uh, pushes you down that new road. And it's not like it's a split decision. This is something that has been thought about quite a bit. You may receive an offer from somebody you've been expecting to receive an offer from as well. Maybe you were dealing with a prick that, that's what I wanted to say earlier, that has now come to his senses He's been thinking about it and wants to make an offer for a new beginning. I mean, I don't know. Somebody's stepping outside of their ego. If it's, I mean, it could be this guy. I don't know. Somebody is stepping outside of their ego, deciding, you know what? I just want to be happy. This person was emotionally unavailable for quite some time, or they are, still are. Somebody is. Somebody is emotionally unavailable. And maybe their life has been turned upside down. Maybe they were dealing with another person, an Aries Leo Sagittarius, that was miserable. And sometimes, you know, you get involved with a miserable individual and it wakes you up. So you could be dealing, if you are a woman, you could be dealing with a man that has gone through an awakening but from dealing with a miserable individual and now he's coming back to make you an offer just saying okay or if you are a man you probably are thinking about making an offer to somebody Stepping outside of your ego. If you're a man, you're thinking about stepping outside of your ego and going down a new path. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're thinking about this woman right here if you're a man. If you're a Gemini man, you're thinking about this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or if you're a man watching this reading, you're thinking about your stability, your security. And the woman is too. If you're a Gemini woman even, you're thinking about your stability, your security, your job. What's practical, what's responsible, you're grounded, you're seeing things through the eyes of reality. But we have this woman over here that is miserable. <laughs> and maybe this man, see he's in the middle. That's funny, huh? See, see where that, and I did put it here when I first put it down. This guy has been in a miserable situation and now he wants to go back to the practical one. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. So, if you this is your situation and you were with a man that was a you know what? He has been involved in a karmic situation that has taught him a lesson and now he wants to come back to your stability. Interesting. Interesting. So Gemini, I feel like you are going to have an eventful week. I think we have a couple different things going on here. I think you're going to receive some sort of news that shakes you up. You're going to be tested. Your strength is going to be tested. Your strength and your willpower. Um, you're going to need to make a decision as to which path is going to bring you the most, most success. You have a chance to go back to the past here. You do. Or you have a chance to move forward. You probably have a choice between two individuals. This is for man or woman. You would probably have a choice between two paths. I think there's going to be a judgment call that is made. Somebody has gone through some sort of awakening and they want you back. You have probably decided to move on and you have another opportunity. Um... And you probably are going to have to, you know, make a choice here. You're going to have to make a choice. Um, this person who's coming back has probably been blocked for quite some time. And they might go to extra measures to contact you. Um, <laughs> be prepared for some sort of...
communication to come in that you have been expecting. I think you, this is something that you are expecting to happen. And I think that you are kind of prepared for it. I do. I think that you're kind of prepared for it. But I feel as though you may be a little bit weary because this person was so controlling in the past. I mean, can a narcissist really change? I don't want any answer to that question below. Go for it if you want. But if they're really long, I delete them, just so you know. Anybody that posts a long fucking comment, the, post, the, the comment gets deleted. I don't have time to read that shit. And I, re, I approve my comments. So if you're going to post a fucking poem or whatever underneath or something really long, I delete it. I don't have time to read all that shit. If it's more than three sentences, it's gone. Same with emails. I don't have time. Anyway. So. <laughs> Where was I going with this? So can a narcissist really change? That was the question. You know, it appears that somebody wants you back. And this person was a real... P-R-I-C-K in the past. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to decide. Do you want to go backwards? And I know I'm going to get some comments. No, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Well, I'm not either. <laughs> so I'm with you on that one. But anyway, um, there will be a, you will have an opportunity to make that choice. There's only one way I would go back. I don't know about you. This should be a diamond. It's a size 8.5. But somebody may get cut out. Somebody may get cut out harshly. There's been women involved. Other women. Somebody might get their head chopped right off. Verbally. Three's a crowd. One, two, three. So I think we have a man here that has been playing games with multiple women. And now he wants you to give him another chance. He may be barking up the wrong tree. Because you might be angry and upset. Maybe these, maybe you, maybe, I don't know, these two are in reverse. This one's in upright. I don't know what to say. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't know what he wants. And you may be the one to bring him down to his knees. The five of swords. Just saying, you're you're in you got the control this week, Gemini. You are in control. And like I said, you may need to restrain yourself. Be prepared to receive some sort, I think, communication from somebody that you have blocked from your life. That wants another chance because it maybe it didn't work out with somebody else. Now they want to come back. And you're probably like, off with your head. That's what it looks like to me. That's a contrast right there. That's a contradiction. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Just don't hurt him too bad, okay? Past life relationship. You've known each other before. You have a choice between two anyway. You do. I know that you do. So I advise you to follow your heart. There's, a, there's an opportunity between two. Past and, and future. So you are going to have to make a choice. Do you want to let this P-R-I-C-K back into your life? He says he's changed, whatever. Or do you move forward 
down down a new road. That's your decision. Down your new road, there's stability, security, and abundance. There is a golden opportunity waiting for you. Probably with somebody you've known before. But you are going to have to make the decision between two. There's no doubt, I'm sure of it. Good luck. <laughs>